Cataloo. Let me tell you about him. He is a freak. He is a 15 hand, absolutely gorgeous stallion. Early last year, I, I started showing uh, Cataloo. And uh, again, I've watched that horse. He's won in the, in the age events. And then when he was seven, I had the privilege of showing him and uh, uh, went to a lot, quite a few weekend shows at the first part of uh, last year. I never had so much fun marking 76s every time on him. And so, what, you know, what an athlete. And again, really good mind. You know, any horse that can keep going, and he's still winning in the show pen, and he's marking, you know, fives, sixes, and sevens all the time. Um, you know, what a, a special horse. I like about Cataloo so much is the, the bottom side. You know, there's a lot of cat studs out there, but the bottom side, he's got the dual pep bloodlines, and that's where I think all that uh, the dual pep bloodline on a cat. And I don't know if there's another cat stud out there, um, but that dual pep mare on the bottom side is a super nice mare, and I think uh, that's where that consistency comes from. That good mind. So you can get a cat stud and you're gonna breed and with that dual pep on the bottom, I think that's pretty special. This year's NCHA Open World title race is heating up with Cataloo and Colin Chartier in the top 10. Colin Chartier and I'm um, currently sitting third in the world on Cataloo. Um, Cataloo's a pretty special horse. I got to show him um, a year ago at uh, Houston Livestock Show in the Mercuria for Paul because Paul couldn't make it and I knew right then and there that there was something special that, about that horse. He really 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 wants to do it. He um, He's a pretty big horse. I mean confirmation looks great but he's a tall horse but the way he works a cow it's like he's a small horse because he can get around and he can drop his nose to the ground and, and almost like float on his front end. Mo Gallion trained him and did a, a dang good job, but I think this horse just naturally wants to do it and wants to do it right. Every time you go down there and put your hand down, he, he gives you his heart. I mean, he'll break a leg trying to hold the cow. And I think that really, really is the difference between a good horse and a great horse is a horse that'll try no matter what. If he's hurt, if he's sore, it's hard to even tell because he just does it right every time. And it's almost like he's floating on the ground. When you trap a cow in the middle, it's like his front end's not even touching the ground and it's just his neck going back and forth. It's a pretty amazing feeling. To me, he's one of the best cat studs out there that you can breed to and he's really, really underrated. I think um, a lot of people overlook him because there are so many cat studs out there, but I believe that he is one of the top ones that you can breed to by just not only his bloodlines, but his conformation, his size, and his cow sense. It's, it's a no-brainer for me. When Cataloo was showing in the aged events, he made the finals of 27 major open competitions. He had seven championships in the toughest of tough competitions. He is a freak.